Welcome, welcome to another edition of the Black Tech Experience Lives. And today we are going over the scariest things about AI in 2024. If you didn't get a chance to catch the first version of this live, it's going to be important, but I'll be giving you a recap. But before I get into that, I want to mention who am I? My name is Rami. I have graduated with my master's in computer science from Cornell with my bachelor's in computer science from Fish University, Black Ivy League. I have interned for companies like Google and Dell. I've worked for Twitch, currently working for another fame company. So I've seen it all. I've written code for production for millions of users. I've written front end code for the React Twitch site. And so I know I know a lot about programming, software engineering, and even AI. I took a machine learning course while I was in my master's program in, in Cornell. So to get back into the scariest things about AI in 2024, if you didn't get a chance to see my live stream, you would have seen that Elon Musk has reneged on him saying that the AI hype is going to end in 2025. See, Elon was saying that if AI is going to stall because people cannot get their hands on enough chips, there's a shortage of chips. If you don't know, NVIDIA is the major player when it comes to the AI chips that support the GPUs and the different programming loads that they need in order to get the most out of the computer. And so the shortage is coming to an end. NVIDIA is able to get out as much as they need. And on top of that, there's companies like Google and Dell. I mean, not Google. Uh, I mean, not <laughs> excuse me. There's companies like Google who are coming out with their own chips that they say is going to be just as good as NVIDIA's. And so with NVIDIA being able to produce more supply and other players coming in and making more chips, Elon Musk is saying, the only thing that's gonna stop people now from creating AI that's more capable than humans is Electricity. <laughs> of course, there is a finite amount of electricity on Earth. <laughs> Until Elon Musk can get us to to Mars or he's able to create a gigantic solar panel for the sun, we have a finite amount of electricity that we can harness in order to provide the energy source for these AI models. And so if you don't know electricity, when when a country uses too much electricity, it's actually pretty bad for the environment. So these AI models, it'll be pretty interesting to see what happens in the next few years. I've already been seeing studies and people saying that you need to be ready. You need to start stocking up on electricity, get generators because there's going to be mass power outages over the next few years as people try to harness as much electricity to make these AI models thrive. And so let's get into the article a little bit about what he said. I'm not going to read the entire thing like I did last time on the stream, but just to give you a little bit of context for those who may not have gotten a chance to view it. All right, let's close that. Basically, Elon Musk is saying in 2025, right, next year, he thinks that AI is going to be so much better than every single human being on this planet. And if you've taken a chance, if you have a chance to see how ChatGPT performs on different, different models, or different results. You'll see that it's already in the like 99th percentile in a lot of these different tests. So I'm a little bit skeptical about 
exactly what he means? Does he feel like AI will be better than going to a doctor or asking a lawyer next year? Because it still seems like, for me, one might say that AI can do all the programming, but today it still can't because you need somebody with an advanced level of knowledge like myself in order to get the most out of a chat GPT model. And so let's get into it. <laughs> he says, my guess is that we will have AI that is smarter than any one human, human probably around the end of the next year. And within the next year, five years, the capability of AI will probably exceed that of all humans. So yes, this is what's scary, right? We've seen Terminator. We've seen the different AI movies that talk about, let me get a closer back on me. Uh, my bad. We've seen the different AI movies that talk about how humanity would destroy itself if we were able to get, um, if we put too much emphasis on AI. We've seen, if you've seen League of Legends, right? They have a movie, or not a movie, they have a series on Netflix, I'm forgetting the name. Basically, they talk about magic and how they had very optimistic goals for what magic was gonna be. But when it came time to go to war, they used it for nefarious purposes. And the same thing can be said about AI. Well, there is somebody that is saying that AI is not what we think it is. It's not good enough. It's not smart enough to, to do the things that we think it can do. Elon Musk is saying, hey, we think it's going to take a year, maybe five years until it's smarter than every one human. But at Meta, the AI chief, one of the godfathers of the entire field is saying, models will never be good enough to be better than four-year-olds or animals because it does not have the ability to learn Let's take a look. There it is, real quick. I'm just gonna read you a part. You can check out the other stream if you want to see the entire article, I'll be linking in the description. Ugh. Yeah, this site had too many ads, man. He reportedly said that reasoning, planning, persistent memory and understanding the physical world are the four essential characteristics of human intelligence and also animals for that matter, the current AI I systems cannot do. And if you don't know who this is, this is what is his name? Yan Lacoon. Yan Lacoon. He's saying, hey, AI will never have the ability to plan reason. Let's go back to the cool ever since AI will never have the ability to reason, plan, and have persistent memory, understanding what physical worlds are. And this is true. If you look in chat GPT, the way that we feed it information, the way that we feed chat GPT information is all text-based. It's all text, it's all image-based. Can ChatGPT feel? Can it touch something in the real world and realize, hey, we can't go down this path? Can ChatGPT 
plan what it's going to do today. Like we could get a four or five year old. Could we get ChatGPT to reason like a chimpanzee where it is able to pick numbers in a row um, sequentially without help from, um, without some of the numbers missing? It will struggle. If we feed it in the correct way, if we give it the right text information, chat GPT will do great. It will do better than most humans. But this is the limitation of the current architecture of AI, that it is heavily, heavily dependent upon text. And so, Obviously, there are people, I've seen articles of people trying to bridge the gap, people who are investing all their time and energy into creating the next model, the next AI architecture, ones that can read the physical world, ones that can plan. Well, let me ask you, how... Is common sense is common sense teachable? Can you teach somebody to plan? Even under duress, right? Maybe you've seen South Park, right? Where they tried to teach Kyle in the human centipede episode how to read. These things can be extremely hard to teach a human being this. Even me, I'm a software engineer. I've made it to the highest echelon of tech companies and I have struggled with executing a plan and meeting a deadline when it needs to be met these things are extremely challenging for humans and the smartest the strongest the 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 most brilliant of us are able to do this at such an extreme high level but how, but these people, you ask Elon Musk, you ask the smartest person you know, can you teach me how to do this? And then that's an entirely different question. I'm not trying to say that you are, some people are born that we cannot teach common sense, that we cannot teach a human being in order to plan. I'm just saying in order to teach that information, for me, it came through experience. It came through continually failing and trying again. And that's basically what I, uh, AI models do, but it never has the same idea of planning, at least not today. And so if you saw one of my other reaction videos, we were talking about, we were listening to Sam Altman say the GPT-4 sucks. And he feels like in a few years, we'll be looking back at GPT-4 and laughing at how terrible it is compared to whatever GPT is out at this current moment. And that is the, the evolution of technology. If you remember playing video games back in the day on the Super Nintendo 64, I remember as a kid, I always thought to myself, these graphics were amazing. They look super realistic but if i were to go back and i would compare games on the super nintendo to what's out today they look trash in comparison so what i am trying to tell you is that if you guys think that what ai is doing today is amazing just watch out for what is coming in the next five years, right? We have Elon saying in the next five years, it's going to be smarter than every single human being on this planet combined. But keep in mind, Elon Musk did say that we were going to be on Mars by now. He promised us electric cars that took two years after when he said it was going to come out to come out. And so just keep in mind some of the things that people say engineers entrepreneurs 
are supposed to be insanely optimistic in order to get the work done. It's a needed quality in order to be a part of the field. And some of that optimism, sometimes we overestimate when we're able to deliver and when we think the world is going to to change. So you've heard both sides. You heard one side say AI is coming in the next year. You've heard Meta's AI chief, another side say with the at least with this current architecture, it will never be able to overthrow humanity. And it's not even worth people think that AI is gonna be like some science fiction movie and it's gonna destroy humanity, but it will never be capable of that. It's not smart. It's just really good at reading information. Thank you so much for watching the video to the entirety. Every single time you like, subscribe, and comment, this really pushes the channel forward and helps us get to our goals. I really want to just say thank you. And if you are hating, it's all good. The hating helps too. Peace.